Morning, Brand. Uh, I figured this is probably easier for me to just make a video of me showing you how to make this thing than it is for me to like try and call you or do anything else. So uh, here is me explaining how I made this really ugly looking uh, spreadsheet to track student work. Um, so uh, this is what it looked like kind of in the end. Uh, but how I got there uh, was I went to Echo. Um, and in Echo, that's the student one. In Echo, um, I went to the specific class that I wanted. Uh, so like I clicked on our first class, went to the gradebook. Then from gradebook, I clicked on students. From students, uh, if it ever loads, um, I clicked on tools and then this export scores button. Uh, I, and then it gives you this whole list of like filters and stuff. So this is how I got what I got. So I got rid of a lot usernames. Um, and then I clicked on the, that was it. Everything else left the same. And then I came down here to activity selection. I had to click this drop down, click this category thing. And then see that he has everything yellowed and checked. Um, I just unchecked everything. Then I went to our folder for our, um, I just clicked on the stuff that I wanted um, from that week. So uh, for example, last week it was like this, exhibit planning toolkit, uh, the March 21st thing, the vocabs, the journals. Um, I think that was it from last week. So I just had those things all checked. Uh, then I scrolled down, made sure nothing else was checked and then came down and you can name it whatever you want to name it. Um, grades for first class, doesn't matter. Uh, then I pressed export. I have to wait for a second for it to load. Do, 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 do. All right, and then it loads, click the button over on the side that's been downloaded. And then it gives me something that looks like this. Um, so now it has first name, last name, and it has, you know, all the different assignments and what the kids scored for each different thing. So uh, I, I make it into a Google Sheet because um, the Office version CSV is kind of sloppy. Um, and it doesn't save either, I don't think. So then it makes it into a, a um, Google Sheet. Um, from here, I'm sure, I mean, you probably could... Um, I'm sure you'd understand it from there probably, but it has everybody's stuff in here. Um, what I did was since some of the things had multiple categories that they were graded for, um, I just focused on like one category to make it less uh, crazy. So I just would take those other columns and hide them. So now the exhibit planning toolkit only takes up one row. Uh, and then I do the same thing for the other stuff, um, the other drop boxes. I just, Oh, shoot. Uh, the other um, categories. I don't know. There you go. Uh, and I hid those columns as well. So then I just had one column per activity. The only part that was weird was like for um, the vocab, um, because those were modified, I had to just leave both of them open and then just remember who was who was which. Um, but that's that's how I did it. I just then each one was a column, and then I went through and I, as you saw, like on mine. Um, I just highlighted green for those that got it done and then just left it blank if they didn't get it done. Um, and then on the end, I just typed in what they had done or what they needed to get done. Um, but I hope that's helpful. Um, yeah. So again, export score from grades is the way that I did it. Clicked on the assignments and exported it. All right. Uh, hopefully that helps. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.